Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now I want to talk about win rate and having a bad win rate or a low win rate doesn't make you a bad player. That's my stats and as you can see I'm a bit of a nab. In fact out of all the YouTubers out there I've probably got the worst stats but that doesn't bother me and it doesn't faze me because having a low win rate doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad player. Well not in my book. And why do I say that? Well for two reasons. One Win rate sometimes depends on A, the teams that you get on the other side, as well as the team that you get. Two, it depends on what tier you're playing, etc, etc, etc. So don't get hung up over this, oh, I've only got a 40% win rate, or oh, you're always going to be a nab because you've not got a 60% plus win rate. You've seen my stats, I've got a 50% win rate. Okay, and I'm in a notoriously difficult tank here, the FV4202, a tank that a lot of people struggle in. Now you could be, you could turn around and say, ah, but Fujit, you less than impressive bearded one, the team that you're fighting are complete nabs. Well, actually they're not. In fact, the team that I'm fighting against, a lot of those players are extremely experienced with over 30,000 battles and very healthy 60% win rates so don't sit there thinking that i'm just playing nabs here because i can assure you i am not and this is the thing i mean we all make or a lot of us make a big deal out of win rate and we like to flex of course we do we like to show people how good we are how competent we are how skilled we are but does it really matter at the end of the day and this is a message for both those with low win rates and those with high win rates. Firstly, the ones with the high win rates. Don't belittle those with low win rates thinking that you are superior in every aspect because I've got a low win rate and I knock the socks off of most of you 60 percenters in this game. That's number one. Never underestimate your enemy. Secondly, if you are a low win rate player, don't sit there thinking that you're a knob or a noob or a nab, whatever you want to call yourself, because your win rate is less than impressive have confidence in yourself okay learn the game of course because having a low win rate means you've got to get better i know that because i've got a low win rate and i've got to get better but don't belittle yourself have confidence approach it positively don't think that everybody's going to be better than you okay but on the same token don't act like a fool in yolo in and you know die in the first 10 seconds take time guys there are seven minutes to play this game take those seven minutes but the important message is this don't worry about your win rate it has nothing to do with win rate trust me on this because and i'm being serious here it is experience more than win rate that matters in this game so if you've got a low win rate but you've also got less than a thousand battles don't think that you can suddenly roll out in a tier 10 and you know be the bee's knees because it's not going to work and it's not going to happen. You don't know the maps. You don't know the tanks. You don't know realistically because you don't have the experience of what is going to go down and what is going to happen. And you're going to be stuck in this perpetual low win rate momentum. It's as simple as that. So don't just think, oh, you know, I can just jump into a tier 10 or an upper tier because it's not going to work that way. But those of you with experience, don't sit there thinking that I'm going to be shouted at because I've got a 45% win rate and I'm rolling out in a tier 10 after my 20,000 games. Because that's not right. People should shout at me, oh, you've only got 53% win rate and you're rolling out in a tier 10. How dare you? I don't care. And the reason I don't care is because I can hold my own against some of the best, some good players. I really can. And... I don't sit here in flex like a lot of people. I'm not interested in massive damage, which is going to be another video, by the way. I'm not interested in mastery medal after mastery medal. And I'm certainly not interested in that blue win rate. If I get it, lovely, it's a bonus. If I don't, I don't care. I'm still going to play the game. I'm still going to have fun. And I'm still going to go out there. And I'm still going to have, you know, a whale of a time, regardless of my win rate. So, again... My message is pretty simple. Those of you with your light blue or even purple win rates, 
Don't look down on everybody else and consider them inferior to you. Because, you know what? They can shock you, they can surprise you. I am a prime example of that. I can go out there and I can shock some of the best players in the game. On occasion. It's, a, it's not always going to happen, of course. They're going to better be nine times out of ten. But, every now and then, I'm going to shock them. And those of you with low win rates don't think that you are inferior and therefore you get bullied into doing things that you don't want to do or don't think you should do. Play your game and enjoy your game and get better. Learn the tanks, learn the maps and learn the tactics and over time your win rate will improve. Don't be eager to flex because you know what? The more you try hard, the harder it gets. Anyway. I've been fugit. That's been my little thought of the day. Win rates. Just because you've got a low win rate doesn't make you a bad player. Far, far from it. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy. At least in my book.